here we are. The 25th and final season in this building. Crazy, 25 years that the Clippers and the Lakers have shared an arena. I don't, I'm not going to lie. Everyone's excited to go to the Intuit Dome, all the Clipper fans I know. Me, I'm very excited as well. It's going to be great for the team. But there is a part of me that is going to miss this place. This is where we've had the best memories in Clipper history. No, that's not saying much, but we really have. Our first first-round series win, all of Lob City. Basically all our respectable years. And I always liked that we shared a building, to be honest. There's a unique aspect of it. But this is the final one. So we're going to need all the support, Clipper Nation. If this is the last year we're going to do this, let's do it loud as can be. Almost at 180 with both fan bases going into this season. Last season it was the Clipper fans that were excited and Laker fans that were dreading it. Now it's Clipper fans that are a little apprehensive for obvious reasons. Laker fans are super excited after the conference finals. All you know is you're going to have everything covered right here on Dime Jumper for all things LA sports. We ready for the journey. Season four, cue the music. Let's get it. For you, Kings fans, wherever you may be, all the frustration and disappointment of the past is gone. The 45-year drought is over. The Los Angeles Kings are indeed the Kings of the National Hockey League. They are the 2012 Stanley Cup champions. Time. Dropper fam, here we are. This is it. Opening night. My third straight opening night vlog. This one we got the Portland Trailblazers. We should win, but it's a trap game. You got DeAndre Ayton making his Blazers debut. He's going to be fired up. You got Scoot Henderson making his NBA debut. He's going to be fired up. It's in LA, even though it's not nationally televised. It's still the Staples Center, still the bright lights. But we should win this. Even without Terrence Mann. I believe Robert Covington should start and will start. And even though Matisse Tybel and Jeremy Grant are two good guys to throw at Kawhi and Paul, I believe that we should still have the talent to get it done. I think really I'm looking forward to the defense tonight and seeing how that looks. Even though Terrence Mann, who's arguably our best point of attack guy, won't be playing, we need to force turnovers, get stops, and that will dictate our offense, which hopefully will look a little faster tonight. Hoping to see a big game from Russ, his first season opener as a Clipper. I'm excited for it. And in terms of the game, I can't wait for this. The debut of the fan section. Let's see just how lit it is. Let's see how much of a difference it makes. Opening night is always special. I know that people are going to be fired up. And as I said, I'm very cautiously optimistic. I have no expectations this season. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are healthy right now for the first time for a Clippers home opener. And I am so excited that that is the case. Let's get to it, baby. All right, Cheesy, opening night, how we feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good, excited. So the energy in the building's pretty good. Score prediction? I'd say 107, 98. Clippers. Clippers. <laughs> Go Clips.
Everybody came focused. We How, gotta win the games that we have to win. Who, who do you think's been the most impressive player for the clip so far? I'm just glad that we're seeing Bones Highland on the court. That's, right. That's what I'm impressed with. Because he was supposed to be in a boot a couple days ago, right? So if he's good to go, he's he's good to play. That's 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 good news for us, you know? There we go. I love it. Alright, cheesy up 20 at halftime. What's been the key? What are you seeing? Good transition ball. Great energy on defense. The boys are playing hard. You can see it. Who's been the most impressive player for you so far? Loki Russ. Loki Russ. We, we, we taking this one home? We yeah. taking this one home? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, Anthony. Up 20 at halftime. How you feeling? What, what, what's been the key so far? I feel like Nostradamus. Two years ago, I said we needed this man in terms of pace. Westbrook, Westbrook, come on, let him know, let him know. Right. We're getting pick and rolls, um, we're getting back cuts, That's right. we're getting pace. Last year, Russell Westbrook in the entire season had eight dunks. He has four already, four. Are we taking this one home? Oh yeah, oh yeah. This goes without saying, we're supposed to put this one away. What I love about this is we're destroying them as we're supposed to be. That's right. And I'm not worried about the pace with respect to anybody else who thinks they can run. We are actually a team that can run. 
I want to play Sacramento again with that amount of pace. How do you feel about Rocco right now? It feels like a new signing. Rocco's beautiful. Rocco's beautiful. Because what he ended up doing, and a lot of people don't realize, Anthony Simons isn't doing a lot of stuff. So, And that's the defensive stuff that he's doing on the perimeter. The switching is absolutely beautiful. I'm excited because Terrence Mann can do the same thing that Rocco can do. Plus shooting. And then Rocco's coming off the bench in terms of the second unit. That's disgusting. Disgusting! Disgusting! The only thing I miss, Marcus Morris. <laughs> All right, Trip. up 20 at halftime. What's been the key? Uh, Off-ball movement. We've seen a lot more cuts. Russ is grinding like crazy. Uh, we're getting out in transition. It's a bit different from last year when we're walking up the court, dribbling for like 15 seconds, getting late to the uh, shot clock. So it's a lot more in ball movement. We're hitting our shots. Um, it's night and day from last year. And Rocco's playing. So that's a good thing as well. Who's been the stand-up for you? And what do you think of the way Paul and Kawhi are playing? I think Russ has been the standout. Um, his post game has really opened up a lot of looks for Zubak and the three-point shooters. Um, in regards to PG and Kawhi, I think Kawhi is just kind of warming up right now. We'll probably see him amp up in the second half. And PG, he's been getting the shot, so we're doing pretty good overall. We taking this one home? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kelly. New season, up 20 at halftime. Love the earrings, by the way, as Thank always. You. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts so far? We look great out there. The first three shots being dunks. The chemistry is great. We look so good out there. Not just our starting lineup, but the bench looks phenomenal. I'm so proud of us. We look good out there. Much better energy than last season. Why it looks great. Russell Westbrook's bringing the energy. I love it. Who's been the standout for you? You know what? I'm gonna give it to Bones Highland. Okay. He looks great out there. Nice and confident, ready for the challenge. Uh, I wish I could see Terrence Mann, but you know, let's wish him luck, uh, wish him a speedy recovery because I think he's going to be great in the starting lineup. But love you, Rocco. Rocco is really stepping up. I was up. just going to ask. Yes, absolutely. So proud of him. Are we taking this one home? Yeah. Oh, of course. It's a blowout. Let's go, Clippers. There we go. I just need uh, two, two things that I want to say. Bone Highland is going to be the man this year. Remember his name, he's going to make a bigger impact than most Clipper fans know right now. He's going to be a fan favorite before you know it. He's going to be bigger than T-Man. Oh, wow. And, like, within a few weeks, you'll see. That guy is straight sauce. Busy bones, baby. We That's taking, all I got to say. We taking this one home tonight? Oh, for sure, for sure. 100%. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yo, 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 man. what's up, what's up? My man Andrew, he's a regular now. Oh, I'm always a regular, that's right. How are we feeling? Up 20 right now. Bro, this is the way that we should have come out, like, from the get-go. So, good uh, start to our last opening night here at the arena. And, uh, bro, Russ! Oh, oh, oh Russ! Yo, he got everything that he wasn't with Lakers. So, you know what? Love the energy, love how he hypes up the crowd. And then this, uh, this 207 section, bro, I've never heard of it, and it's crazy over there, bro. So if you're here at the game, go visit those guys, because it's wild right there, it's wild. Who's been the standout performer for you? Has it been Westbrook or someone else? Uh, well, right now Westbrook, but I really like uh, how, uh, how Rocco has stepped in and, and filled in nicely, especially because it's well-deserved. He hasn't been out there getting the, the minutes he deserved, so it was nice that uh, Ty Lue didn't trick us and then throw Mook out there on a win, bro. Right. So, that was nice. We taking this one home? Hell yeah, bro, we taking this one home, baby. If you hear him start calling, ask me. I'm patting you down, baby.
Oh, Kawhi Leonard is starting to get hot. 18, five and five. This is as commanding as it gets. Yeah! yeah. Number five, Bones Highland. Oh, Good job, Russell Westbrook and Norman Powell. Great job, Russell. Replacing Covington. Waller's lost, Herschel Hunter wins it's the loss. Aiden has been absolute garbage. Jude Henderson has been also garbage. Credit to the Clippers defense, it's been amazing. Westbrook double double, Kawhi Ball Master Glass, Miami Ball George. This section is still all on their feet the whole game. It is different this season. We going out with a bang. Bring on the Utah trash. Trash ass motherfuckers. Right, this one is the W call. Yeah! Give it up for your team. All right, Rob, game number one is done. Commanding victory. How'd you think of the game and the section? Man, we absolutely dominated. We were up by like 30 at one point, I think. Section 207 was absolutely crazy. We were on our feet the whole game, the whole game. yelling, literally the whole game. Like, I kid you not. Uh, that was great. It got me even more excited for the rest of the season. What would you take from this game into Utah on the road? That's not going to be an easy game. It's never easy over there. I loved Russ, and Russ did good. He was efficient. I feel like he took care of the ball for the most part. Um, PG was good. He got hot. Uh, he had like 27, I believe. Uh, Bones, he had like 17. Awesome. Well, I mean, I mean, he'll, he'll get more minutes with man out. Uh, I'm excited. Hopefully we get man back soon. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'll take us against the Jazz. Well, let, let's go. Player of the game? Uh, play, uh, I mean, I got to go with PG. Um, but I did love seeing Bones come off the bench and uh, give all that good energy and points. See you Sunday? Uh, you know it, man. I'll be here against Wemby. That's right. <laughs> all right, fellas. Game over. Clippers dominant performance. How are we feeling after that one and how we think the boys played? I, I feel great about it. I will say what I said. Uh, little KJ stood in the corner and was like somebody said, baby boy, <laughs> we're putting you in the corner. Be ready. He and did, he did great. He did great. But I want to see what he does next time. Go ahead, Mom. I think everyone from our starters to our second and third team did amazing. Our starters amazing. Uh, Rose, Rose came out. Come on, Rose, shout out. Look, great Eat game it. by Paul George. Underrated game by Eat him. It. He Eat came it. through. Yo, you still in your bro? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, let's go. Great game by PG. Five wins at least. <laughs> let's do it. 55 games, like he said. You know, we're gonna, hey, we're in the baby. Right. LA Clippers, game one, we got them, let's go. Who was your player of the game, Aiden, before we dip? Oh, Hi Bones Highland. Came through in the clutch and the bench. Your player of the game? I'm gonna go Bones, but my second favorite was KJ. Actually, though, he, wasn't, he didn't do that much, though, KJ. He was, he was, he <laughs> that's her dude. Hey, good. I thought he was my second you just favorite because like, he was cute. I was gonna say, he just like the way he looks. Yeah. Okay, in my opinion, the player of the game was Christina Pink. You heard it here first. <laughs> Outside the Staples Center after a commanding opening night victory. It could not have gone better, man. The defensive intensity was everything that the boys advertised in training camp. Everybody was after it, fighting over screens, even without Terrence Mann. Robert Covington felt like a new signing. I mean, I don't even need to beat a dead horse because I've been saying it all of last year. He is going to help our team. Paul George, he said he was going to be back on his bully shit. One game bully. Kawhi, it took a while to get going, but he got going. How about our two point guards, Busy and Russ? What we saw from them, way more pace, the ability to get 
into the paint and draw two defenders and make the right pass. You had Russ with the double-double. His energy is just infectious. The way he plays to the crowd, it's amazing. And speaking of the crowd, section 207, on their feet the whole game. Absolutely incredible. I don't, I don't have anything bad to say. Last season, we waved the white flag so much. And this season, to start the year, we are the ones that get to rest our starters for the last five minutes of the game. Honestly, I was a little disappointed that they even came back in the game. I personally didn't think we needed to do that. But who cares? A win is a win. Kawhi and Paul George exited the game healthy, and that is all that matters. I'm so proud of the boys. The defense was great. It's a building block for the Utah trash on, what do we play them, Friday? Tomorrow. No way. We play them tomorrow? No, I think we play them on Friday. No, we play them on Friday. Friday, the Utah trash. We are ready to smack them in the face. We undefeated. Coach Carter style, baby. Go Clippers. Woo! Yes, sir!